Hey guys, this is Grenade Launcher 101 back at it with Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow for the PS2. This next mission here is long, but for the most part easy. There's only a couple parts that are, let's say, a bit difficult to get through, but once we get to both those parts, I will show you how to maneuver those, and I will point it out. This looks like a touchy mission. Project is coordinating with local intelligence. Assad? Even better. Shoot him down. 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 Shoot him
pick up this body right here and hide it in the dark since they are knocked out after all. All right. Good. Feeling better with a warm gun in your hand? Much thanks. Your next objective is named Dahlia Tal. Brunton? Ms. Dahlia Tal. She's a shoot-bet agent in deep cover with local terrorist cells. She's on link to Norman Soft's terrorist connections. We're hoping she'll be able to tell you about a large bank account transfer from one of Sedano's heroin money laundromats. One of the choice nuggets of intel we pulled off Soft's laptop. Find Dahlia. She'll lead you to the mercenaries. All right. Now this next part here is a little glitchy in one aspect of it. But uh it's real easy to get by by them. to worry about her right over there but that guy is also going to come back out of that hallway there once he does we have to stay on this wall here and we have to wait for her to walk back out and then this guy is going to go back once he does, you're in the clear. See, that's what I was talking about. He was talking about uh, some lights that did not actually go out. It was just a real glitchy thing on his part. But yeah. This guy right up here so. is going to take up a lot of time smoking his thing there. You know, we've been once he's done, so he turns around, Nothing and you're in the clear changes. to move on. Only the number of dead in the list changes. It keeps growing. Now you have to be real careful when going through here. Yeah, he saw me. So I'm going to try it again. So what this part is, is basically just staying in some dark spots and wait for those guys to move in different other spots. So that is the basic point of that but since i got caught there i had to retry that all over again I 
might actually see me get impatient here. If not, you know what? Anyways. So if you end up getting close enough to her, just sneak by her, no problem. And then they saw me. Hold on, I'm gonna have to get back to you guys. Alright, we're back. Sorry about that. It would have taken a long time for me to get back to that point. But here we go. So, this guy's gonna turn around at one point. So we have to wait for him to turn back around. But you also have to worry about him too. Once he turns around, you're in the free to go. And I don't think you have to worry about him much more. So once he over here, stick to this wall right here. Wait for him to turn back around and walk back in the other direction. And you're in the clear. And you can speed up here because he will end up seeing you. Now this next part here, you're going to have to like speed things up a bit to get past uh, the light area because there's a guard that will be sitting right there by a storage bin what from what it looks like and he does not move i mean you can get past him through like looking patterns where he looks in the opposite direction of you but that takes like a long time this uh this plan is easier. I have a clear identification of Dahlia. She's waiting for you near the church. She's wearing a traditional white outfit. The code is, is there a situation? special hour for the mass. Okay, I say it's much easier, but it has to be done right. So, and I didn't do that one right at all. identification of Dahlia. She's waiting for you near the church. She's wearing a traditional white outfit. The code is, is there a special hour for the mass? Answer, only in the morning. Again. I have a clear identification of Dahlia. She's waiting for you near the church. She's wearing a traditional white outfit. identification of Dahlia. She's waiting for you near the church. She's wearing a traditional white outfit. The code is... Identification of Dahlia. She's waiting for you near the church. She's wearing a traditional white outfit. The code is, is there a special hour for the mass? Answer, 
only in the morning. All right, so I got here. It is very tricky to pull off, but if you do end up pulling it off like that, you are basically past that point. So now we just got to have to worry about these two from here on out. Make sure you're in the darkest portion of the area because one of these will accidentally see you. So once he moves, you're in the clear. Now this part, you do not have to climb up the pole and get around there and then go to that end there. There is a way to get there from ground level. And I will show you guys that here in a second. Now, in order to do this, you have to wait for that guy to go in the other direction. But you also have to worry about this guy as well. So once he turns around, you're in the clear. You can climb up on this chair. Climb up here. Get to the darkest spot of this ledge possible. Then you can climb up. Make sure he's not coming, which he probably might be. And I could go down there while he's turned around if I wanted to, but I want to make sure he's out of this portion of the area entirely. Now we're in the clear to move. All right. Now these parts here are a little tricky. One part you're gonna have to shoot out of light. Uh, the other parts are all about timing. So I will show you guys that here once this thing starts loading. Okay. I lost sight of where I was for a second. Don't mind that. Is there a special hour for the lads? Only in the morning. You took a long time. You're American. Who are you? I'm friendly. I'm looking for a friend of mine. You've seen this man. I feared you wouldn't be asking unless I had. What was he doing in Jerusalem? Buying a weapon. Details, details. I don't know any. Something biological. The Syrians have supposedly had it for over a decade, but it was too dangerous to move until your friend came along with some kind of storage devices. What was the deal? Your friend got the biological agent. He gave the Syrians a small mountain of U.S. currency and one of the storage devices. Where are the Syrians? Where's the device? I'll take you to the device, but stay out of sight. Anybody sees us together, and we'll be far from the only people killed. Alright, so you see that light over there? You need to take that, take that light out in order to get past there, because there are two civilians right there, and a guard that comes patrolling through here. So if you don't take this out, they will end up seeing you. They'll see it for like a quick second and then just go back to their normal uh, business as usual. So here we go. 
I'm gonna speed things up here because that guard is going to turn around. Now we just have to wait for Dahlia Tall to come over here. And he's going to walk up and talk to that guard, keeping him distracted enough for me to move up past the light here. What are you doing on the street? I'm sorry, officer. I'm heading home now. The curfew is very clear. You're endangering yourself and others. Alright, so this is the part right here where you basically have to time your movements. That guy right there, um, you have to wait for him to turn around so he can walk the other way. So that I have an opportunity to climb on that ledge right there. gonna turn around a second time once he turns back around you're in the clear Before you move on, you have to wait for this guy to turn around 
because he can potentially see you. And just in case you can sit here and wait for him to turn around a second time, then he can turn around again. Then you're in the clear to move on. Nicely done. Just wait very patiently because there's going to be a guy that comes out of that corner there. And once his back is toward you, you should be able to get to that corner without getting caught. And we're in the free to go. Just be as quiet and stealthy as possible when climbing down here because he might potentially hear you. And don't do anything after you get on ground level because he's going to turn one way and Dahlia Tall is going to come walking down my direction. Now here you at the wait and time this way. Start pe speeding past him. All right, now this part right here, because this is a ghost walkthrough, let alone a stealth, no kills. I'm not going to kill her. And even though the game requires you to, or gives you the choice to kill her or not, I'm going to choose not to kill her, despite what everyone says about it. Okay, so 
there's one part in this section of the level that's going to give me a little trouble. Well, not necessarily, because um, if you recall, there's going to be a guy standing behind it in front of an elevator, and he has no gun out. It will be really difficult to get past him without his gun out, but if you shoot the light where I'm going to pop out, he will pop his gun out, and it will take, and he'll, and with that said, he will have longer looking away transition, and that will give you an opportunity to walk past him without getting spotted. It is tricky though, but I will show you how to do it. possible because eventually he's going to come back get past the turret and the guy that's about to pop up here but it takes timing so just watch and learn I turn off the turret, you have to wait another second for him to have his back toward you. Once he does, you're in the clear to move. Make sure there are no guards wandering around. There's going to be one to pop up here. Once you get this thing on the ND-133, so get over here. You ever read the Chamberlain chapter of your history books? No need to act cute. Dahlia Tal is close and no doubt eager to repay your mercy. Shinbet wants the ND-133. So then he's going to turn and around. And there's no official repercussions for killing somebody who doesn't officially exist. She's got sniper stats that could disprove Kennedy conspiracies, needless to say. Yeah, you said jump and I didn't. When I get back to the States, I'll sit facing the corner in a calm hat. Alright, so this is the part that I'm talking about. Right here. Shoot this light out. Because that guy over there is going to notice. Or he might not have. Yeah. 
Okay, well, sometimes it works. No, most of the time it does work, but that time she did not, like, look at the light bulb until the moment I got into the elevator. And the fact that he didn't have his gun out, he did not really see me. Normally I wouldn't do it like that. And there might have been some reason behind it. And I'm just not sure how to point it out. But, uh, yeah. We, that's how you get past him. So now this part is very tricky and I made a stupid mistake. So I'm gonna have to stick out here. Yeah. One thing I forgot to mention is this part right here has snipers. Since you didn't kin kill Dahlia Tall, he sent out a bunch of snipers to come hunt you down. And because of that, it seems like this part is difficult, but it's really not. There is an easy way ar around this, but you have to know which spots are very dark so we jump around here i think then go over here you and cohen can get out of there mission's complete you think that small box is the real thing i hope to god mm -hmm. Smallpox is the Springfield demonstration. I don't want to guess. Meet Cohen and get out of there. Your soft spot for Dahlia has cost us more in the region than you can imagine. Alright, so, um, I know I made it, that part look easy as hell, but trust me, it's not. Because you have to, like, Look at which directions those snipers are looking before you can actually make your move. move. And, um, uh, yeah, it's like, it's, it's a very long process, to be honest with you. And, like, knowing that, it's, knowing that, like, um, these missions are glitchy in certain ways and not it means a lot to you guys as the viewers who are watching this and thinking maybe i should look out for these things but anyways so from here on out uh the other four missions are going to be hard one mission which has a couple glitchy parts uh, the other er, parts where there are certain circumstances in which you can't really do anything about it. You can just really do what is best for the mission and, you know, just stuff like that. So, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this mission I hope this walkthrough helps you guys out a lot. This is Grenade Launcher 101 signing off.